everybody and welcome back to a brand new video. So today I'll be talking about the four different variations or four different types of Google Chrome. So of course there are people who develop Google Chrome and that's their job. So every day when they finish developing for that day, they update this version called Chrome Canary. So this is updated nightly and it's the most unstable of the four versions. So the new features that are released are not tested at all. They're just released uh, onto this version. So this is the most unstable, and it's recommended that you don't use this, um, you know, as your daily um, regular browser. So the next um, version is Chrome Dev. So this gets features a little bit later than Chrome Canary. It's a little more stable, but still has bugs, and it's still not recommended to use uh, as your regular browser. And this one is updated one to two times a week. After Chrome Dev, uh, you get Chrome Beta, and Google Chrome Beta is the most stable out of these three before the stable version. Um, and so it's good to kind of preview new features. It's updated once a week and major updates come every six weeks. So new features come to Chrome beta one month before getting to the Google Chrome stable version. So that brings us to Google Chrome stable, which is what most people use. So if you search download Chrome in your browser, it's going to take you to a stable Chrome download. So this is a kind of like the general release and it's kind of like the quote-unquote regular browser or regular version of Google Chrome. So it's updated two to three times a week. Every six weeks you get a major update. And uh, as I said earlier, you get uh, new features a month after Chrome beta. So now I'm just going to show you how each of these different variations have different versions of Chrome. So if I go to Chrome Canary, you can see I'm on Google Chrome 77.0.3853. And if I go to Chrome Dev, you can see I have 77. 0.3833. So I'm a little bit um, behind. So I have a slightly newer version of Chrome on Canary than I do on Dev. Now moving on to beta, I have 76.0.3809. So that means you can see how I have an even older version of Chrome on here. And then now to the stable version, I have 75.0.3770. So this is a stable release. And you can see here on, on the stable version, it says cohort stable installs only. So they make sure there are as few bugs as possible and it, uh, that the browser is uh, as safe to use as possible for the general public on this version. And I just want to show you how you can actually see the new features on Chrome Canary. Um, so they're not all just kind of uh, internal. Some of them are actually, you can see them when you're using the browser. So if I go to the new tab, uh, on all of them, so I'm going to go to all the new tabs. You can see I have this extension called um, Just Black, which is the um, dark theme offered by Google. Um, and you can see on the stable version, the Google is uh, white, the letters are all white. But on Beta and Dev and Canary, the, it has the um, kind of like the regular colors. So it has blue, red, uh, yellow, blue, green, and red. Also, something you can see on the Canary is if you um, put your cursor on top of another tab. It, it gives you like a little information about what the tab is. You can see the same thing on Chrome Dev. However, if you go to Chrome Beta, you don't see that. You just see um, the name of the um, website. And the same thing on Chrome Stable. So yeah, I just thought I would go over that. Um, and hopefully it helps you to kind of figure out what version of Chrome you like to use. Um, I have used uh, Chrome Canary um, as my regular browser for some time, and I didn't have too many problems with it. However, one day it started really acting up, so I moved to this, the regular Chrome Stable. So I would recommend having Chrome Stable no matter what, and you can choose any one of these. I think Chrome Beta is um, the best because you do get features a little early, but you're not going to um, have too much inconvenience from bugs and things like that. But it's really up to you. Um, I hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.